So you're considering spending some money inside of Raid Shadow Legends, but you're looking at the shop and you're saying to yourself, what is worth buying? What are the best deals and what are the ones that are gonna most benefit my account? Today, I'm gonna share with you my three favorite opportunities to purchase inside of Raid, but I'm gonna also explain to you why these are good purchases and why I choose to personally use some of them, not all of them. So that you can kind of have some guidance, you see, on your raid and journey. And if you haven't yet started your journey raid, journey raid, your raid journey, make sure you use my QR code or my link in the description. In doing that, you're gonna get yourself some sweet, mwah, mwah, juicy rewards in the form of Rector Draft, an amazing epic reviver healer inside of the game, as well as a bunch of other really sweet rewards that go along with it to progress your account. It's a great way to start having that champion, starting that off with Kale as well, being your primary rare that you start the game with, and you are in very, very good hands from day one. And after this video, when you watch it, you'll be in good hands if you decide to open up your wallet and spend a few bucks. Because hey, inside of all these mobile games, we can spend a lot of money. So we wanna make sure that we spend in the right places so that our account benefits the most. So what are the three best ways to spend in Raid Shadow Legends? So when you're in the shop, there are tons of different packs that you can buy. There are limited time offers all over the place. And sometimes there's a good opportunity inside of here. Maybe you're looking to do a shard opening for a two times shard event and you want to have better chances and more pulls. Well, then maybe you'd want to buy some of the packs that are going to give you some of the shards and things that are going to give you chances of getting those champions that you want but they're probably not the best offer inside of the game. Let's start out with the number one, the best opportunity that you have in Raid. The best value for your dollar, for your coin. What is it? This is the Daily Gem Pack. As you can see, I purchased it here myself. The Daily Gem Pack is the best buy inside of the game. It gives you the most value. And as you can see, it only has a price tag of $9.99. And over the month's time, you get a deposit of gems every single day. Day one, you receive 250, 50, 50, 50. So if you're not rushed for gems and you don't need a bunch of them right off the bat, this is the best value. This is what's gonna take you and give you the most opportunities in the game to progress the furthest. This is the one thing you should buy if you decide you're gonna throw your credit card in and make a purchase. At the end of the day, you're gonna be getting yourself 2,140 gems over a 30 day period. What does this mean? What can you buy with gems that's gonna be so much value to you? Well, it's very simple, energy. Energy is going to allow you to play when you need to play to participate in events that give you mass rewards. When you want massive rewards, you need the energy to make sure you can do it. Now, I dabble with the idea of even going on a two times XP boost, 100% XP boost, but I've never purchased them because you could farm these yourself and a lot of people have months worth of these on their account already. If you don't though, and you have a champion training event and you have a lot of training to do, may not be a bad use of some of your gems, but really the best value for your gems is gonna be buying energy so you can participate in tournaments and in events to complete them, get more rewards, progress your account, get free champions, get fusions, and win in raid. So what's number two? Number two is the forge pass. The gold pass for the forge. As you can see, the gold pass is a $20 value and you get a whole bunch of extra rewards. If you get the gold pass plus 25 levels, the thing is twice in price, but you're getting the extra 25 levels and you're getting the extra XP boost and silver. For me, I think the better buy is the regular gold pass. It's gonna give you a ton of extra rewards. Obviously there is more value you get in the larger pack, the 25 level plus, but it's twice the price. That's up to you. I think these are both probably the second best value inside of the game. And as I sit around and play raid for hours every day, I think to myself, I really need to buy this thing. As you can see, when you don't have it, you get all these top tier rewards for free, but if you purchase the pass, you get additional rewards from getting the pass. Additional rewards which can also be used on your account to help you just strengthen it. It's a good value, the second best value in the game. Now a little sidebar before we get into the third best value in the game, the gem mine which you unlock with gems, 500 gems per level, is gonna be a really great upgrade for you inside of the game if you're a new player. 
it's gonna essentially net you 15 gems every single day. That's 15 gems just for having it there. You can come in and collect them. It's 500 to upgrade it from level one to two and from two to three. So it's gonna cost you a bunch of gems to get it there, but it pays itself off over time. Again, these gems don't need to have money spent to get them. You can get these gems just from grinding the game and getting rewards. It's a good value to get early on in your game. What I did, I got level two of the gem mine. Well, first I unlocked the gem mine, then I got it to level two, and then I got masteries on my primary champion, my starting champion, and then I got it to level three, and it's been paying me out every single day since then, baby. And that brings us to pop-ups. One of the best deals in the game comes in the form of a pop-up. And unfortunately, I can't replicate that pop-up right now. But a lot of times when you get things popping up on side of the game, a hot pack or something brand new and fresh, the deals are not that great. But there are some that drop and give you the opportunity to buy that are quite great. When you go to close out of a pop-up, a lot of them will just go away. But there are some that when you go close out of the pop-up, it says on the screen, are you sure you want to exit this deal? If that is said to you, that is a flag that the deal that you're about to pass up on is a solid deal. It's a good value most of the time. So if you're going to close out the deals that pop up on the screen and it says, wait, stop, warning. You may want to check this out because it's a great opportunity. It's a great buy. That's an opportunity for you to really look at it and say, hmm, do I need these? Is this value for me? Because typically that is the third best value you will find in Raid Shadow Legends. That one wasn't, and this one was not. See how they just disappeared? Now, if you wanna get champions as sexy as mine, well, first of all, you need some luck in pulling them, but also you need to be able to grind the game properly, which I've been learning. I'm newer to Raid. I've been playing on this channel for about four months now. I've been learning from playing but more importantly, from the community. We've been building out my team together. Latest edition, ba -ba -da -ba, Armands from the Fusion. Now to participate in the Fusion to get Armands, it was a two week grind of my life. It was not easy. I went through approximately 2,500 gems just on energy so I could unlock this guy. I think it's still even in here, yeah. No, oh, he's gone now. He's gone. He's gone. I got him. It's all gone. So, the gem deals in the game, the daily gem pack that you get, the first best deal, the best offer, in my opinion, is important to have, and I will have it every single month. Because the next time there's a fusion, I want to have a stockpile of gems so that I don't have to go buy an opportunity or a pack that has less value. I don't want to be in a dire situation where I'm like, oh my God, I need 500 gems so that I can buy energy so that I can finish this fusion or this event. Because when you need it like that, you go to the shop and you look around and you're like, uh, uh oh, there's no great deals right here. You don't want to be forced to have to buy something because you need the gems for something to happen. So in my opinion, go ahead with the daily gem pack stockpile gems save them so in a month when we have another fusion i'm sitting on two three four thousand gems and i'm like i got no worries i'm gonna be efficient with my energy for these events but i also have gems just in case speaking of events this is what we do here in the channel every day we have a we have a community my people we got a community and right now we have a dragon event going on we need to get this because we need to get these tokens right here we get these tokens right here. We can get some red glimmery stars for our new boy Armands. So we have another 20 hours. So what my day is going to look like right now is I am going to go into stage 16 of Dragon and grind it out. At the end of the day, though, we don't want to waste our money. I don't want you going into the game and throwing stupid money at the game, making purchases that are not really going to benefit you. Spending inside of mobile games, it's great. As long as you're in the position where it's safe for you to do it, where you're not spending your food money or your mortgage money, as long as you can afford it, sure, why not? It's for enjoyment. It's the same thing as going to the movies or going to a ball game. These are things we do for fun. So guys, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you subscribing, downloading, and joining me every single day in Raid Shadow Legends.